another video as promised so today I did the makeup by Mario kind of a look um, from his last class in Michigan that I had the honor to attend with my daughter and uh, yeah so I've basically just taken some bits and pieces from his class and I've combined it with some of my own techniques and I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to understand by the way he's amazing I recommend all makeup artists to take his class and even if you're not a makeup artist highly recommend to take his class uh, it's intense it's a lot of information it's long but it's totally worth it and it's a lot of fun so sit back relax I hope you guys like like the rest of my tutorial take care all right so the first thing you want to do is take a spoolie and brush out your eyebrows and then I'm using morphe um, brow cream in latte for my eyebrows and I'm using the morphe brush so all I'm doing is just lightly filling my eyebrow in so just use your foundation and just put it all over the lids and then on the other side as well now I know we use an eye primer but in Mario's class he used foundation and to be honest, that's exactly what I do as well when I work on my brides. Yeah, because if you think about it, it's pretty much like the same thing. It's the same type of consistency that you're putting on your eyelids. So once you're done that, he did highlighter. Okay, just underneath the brow bone. This helps pop out your brow bone and helps define your eyebrows as well. Once you've done that, now Mario did not use eyeshadow. Actually, he, he did towards the ending, but there was something in his class that he kind of taught us that if you follow that technique, like you don't even need eyeshadow. And if you like the makeup look that I did yesterday, I do not use any eyeshadow at all. Um, basically, what I used was foundation uh, as well, or cream foundation, I should say. So uh, for this one, I'm going to use the Motives. Um, Sculpt series in fire and I'm using the darker color and I'm gonna actually apply that all over my lids Just apply it on my lids like so and then I'm gonna use my hands to kind of like help blend it in okay then you're gonna take that same cream shadow the brown one using like a pencil smudging brush and you're going to add it underneath and the reason why you want to do that is because when you go and add the black on top it's going to look more intensified just adding a little bit of that same highlighter in the corner of the eye Curl my lashes. Okay, and now I'm using the number seven the full 360 mascara. Uh, I'm using the Bobbi Brown black smoky eye kajal liner. I don't know what color this is. Oh, it's noir. It's a black one. Okay. And then you're going to line it on top as well but don't line too much try to keep it very very thin and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be smoking it out after and try to do it in between your lashes so what you can do is you can kind of like wiggle it back and forth it's also very important that you use a very soft pencil like Bobbi Brown's great because it's super soft even Morphe is pretty good too it just kind of melts right into your eye you don't want anything that's too hard and not good quality because you're gonna hurt your eyes <laughs> okay once you're done that part um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take the pencil smudging brush that I have 
okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that liner. And all I'm doing is I'm just, again, just going back and forth first. And then as you're blending, you wanna start working that um, black pencil into the cream shadow. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the primer. Now, I don't know why, but Mario doesn't use a primer, apparently, or I think it was just that specific day he didn't use it. I don't know. But I like to use primer, and I'm just using a simple primer. It's Proper Prime from MAC. It's the moisture infusion. It's my favorite. I have it in my kit as well for my brides. It's great. I am going to, oh, actually, before I do the concealer, I need to correct because I've got some dark circles. I'm be using Kawaii from Jorn. You guys need to check out her products. They are really good. Um, you only need very little. I'm just gonna zoom this back out now. I'm using this one because I like it. It's kawaii, it's from Jorn, and it's very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. And all you're doing is you're just applying it underneath your eyes. This is gonna help cover, do you see the difference? Like, and this is not even the foundation. This is basically just, um, this is just a corrector. Like it's, it is a skincare product as well. So over time, if you keep using it, it's actually gonna make your um, you know, dark circles appear a lot less. And then I'm gonna use the same product and add it around because I have some darkness around my lips. Okay. Oh, and also another reason why we use a corrector is because when you use a corrector, you won't need to cake up on the concealer and your makeup won't look heavy because the reason why a lot of makeup tends to look cakey is because we're trying to cover up our flaws or whatever so you tend to add more layers but using a corrector you will end up using less foundation and from shape tape um tart cosmetics I'm using shape tape from tart cosmetics so what i like to so what mario does is like he likes to create like a triangular triangle so i'm gonna do the same thing now he used a brush i'm not using a brush I'm just using the wand. And you don't need a lot of product, guys, because this is like super pigmented. And all I'm doing is just stippling the product, and then I'm just blending it to the edges of my face. All right, next I'm gonna use my foundation. Like I said, I'm gonna use a little bit darker foundation. I'm using 4W1 from Clinique. Now, I don't like wearing too much foundation because it makes the face look really cakey. Now, you'll notice that I'm not using a lot on my forehead. I don't use a lot of foundation on my forehead. First, I do the bottom of my face and then whatever's left over in the sponge, I take that and I stiff lid it to the forehead on my neck as well. Make sure you are stippling the product for a good few minutes all over. So for the contour, I'm gonna use the MAC uh, NW50 stick foundation concealer. Now everyone's face is different, so you gotta really understand and pay attention to what your face shape is like. You gotta sit there and feel out your bone structure and know what you want to recede, what you want to highlight. So for me, I have really wide um, cheekbones, so I like to contour them just so it kind of makes my face look a little bit slimmer. I also like to define my, um, I have a double chin, so I need to kind of really define this area so it looks more prominent and sharp. And also, I want my face to look longer, so rather than placing the contour like this, which is what you would think you would do, which for most people, it does work, but for someone with round face or a square face, they need to kind of do their contour at an angle like this, okay? And what I do is I like to start from right here as opposed to here, and I kind of like just 
work my way up okay and what I'm doing is I'm literally just stippling and sometimes smiling helps you don't necessarily have to do like that fish face but even smiling can help as well just knowing see when I smile my cheekbones naturally pop out so I kind of know how far up I want to go for those of you who don't have prominent cheekbones it's okay we all have them but everyone's face is different so what you can do is you can do the fish face that might help you but I like to smile because then you can really shape out your cheekbones better okay. and then I'm just gonna take it up all the way so it's from here to here and then from here to here and this technique will work with most faces but if you have a long face, I don't advise you to do that because then you'll just have a longer face. If you have a long face, do the contour straight across. Um, for anyone with a short face or a circular face or a square face, you want to do it at an angle, you want to lift it up. It's all about creating an illusion. I'm also going to feel out where my jawline is. So I like to just do it underneath. If you don't have a jawline, what you can do is you can create like an L shape from your ear down and then blend it out and I also like to so as you can see I have a double chin I like to add it right underneath but not going too close to the chin because I still want my chin to look longer and then what I do is I just blend it down to the center really want to define it you can actually go back in Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retake my concealer and just kind of brighten up my eyes. But I'm just going to add very little. Do. Okay. The next thing you want to do is you want to add powder. Okay, so I'm going to use the Laura Mercy powder. And I'm using the Morphe M438. I actually don't like baking, to be honest with you, because I, I find that it makes the under eyes really dry and cakey. Some powder for all over my face, and I like to just pat it in. So I'm gonna use my favorite contour palette from Too Faced, the Coco Contour. <laughs> So I'm using the Kat Von, Kat Von D um, Late in Shade and Light Contour Brush and I'm just going to use the darker color and again just really lightly going over the same area to kind of define that area a bit more and what I'm going to do is just add some shadow underneath the lip line, your bottom lip. I'm gonna add a little line there to kind of just emphasize. You don't have to do this stuff, by the way, but if you want to, you can. You'll notice I use a lot of Morphe brushes. Um, I have MAC as well. I love MAC brushes, and I also love Bobbi Brown. They're my two favorite brands for when it comes to brushes. Um, they are amazing. They last really long, but you know what? Morphe is just as good. They may not last as long, but they're just as good. So if you're on a you know, budget, Morphe brushes are the way to go. So I'm going to use that light color right here and I'm actually going to start my contour of my nose right here. I'm just basically following the arch of my eyebrow and I'm just bringing it down halfway right there. And this actually makes your nose kind of like stand a bit taller on your face. Remember one thing, um, it's all about creating symmetry on your face. So when you're doing contouring, think of symmetry. How you can make your face look more symmetrical. So I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown pencil and I'm just going to rim the bottom. The great thing about Bobbi Brown's pencil is it's got a little smudgy uh, brush at the back so you could just use that. And again, just going back and forth. 
Lashes play a really big role when it comes to your overall makeup look. You can't just take any lashes from the store and just pop them on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Putting on lashes is challenging, I know, but it's also just practice. Once you get used to it and you do it a few times, you'll be fine. Okay, so my lashes are now both on. All right, so we're gonna do the nose. Yay! I'm gonna use the Coco pa uh, Coco Contour. And you need a very, very tiny brush. Morphe M213. So the trick to conjuring is basically everyone's nose shape is different. So you gotta understand your own nose and know exactly where you wanna place lines, okay? Um, when you're creating a line down the center of your nose, yes, you are creating a line down the center of your nose, but you're actually doing it at an angle. So what you want to do is, so instead of putting a line like this, you're actually putting it more like this because your nose is standing, right? So I think a lot of times what people are doing is they just kind of draw a line from here to here and that's it. But then that makes the nose look fat. So you want it to be as thin as possible. If you don't want your nose to be as thin as possible, I'll show you another technique to keep it natural. Um, it would be actually similar techniques, but using a different brush. So anyways, I'm going to use this brush right here, uh, M213. We're going to use the lightest color. So you want to look at where your natural bridge of your nose is, and you want to just go on the edges of that. I'm just going to follow the natural bridge of my nose. You can use your fingers to blend out the nose as well. Perfect. Now we're gonna add some blush. Okay, so now we're gonna do the lips. So first thing first, you need to make sure you hydrate your lips, especially if you're gonna be using a matte color on top. And I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and they are very matte. So you need to make sure your lips are nice and hydrated so I'm using whirl make sure your pencils are nice and sharp okay that's the first important rule when it comes to drawing out your lips you have to understand your lips try to understand you know where this uh, asymmetrical part of your lips are your base, you do want to make them symmetrical. Um, you also want to ask yourself if you want to make your lips bigger or do you want to just keep them looking the way they are. Um, so I like to, I do have full lips, but I do like to overline my lips to give them a little bit more fullness. So I always like to start from the corner of the lips and then I work my way in. Some people like to start from the center. You do you. Whatever you do on one side, you want to do it on the other. Okay, and then what, what I do with my lipstick, with my lip liner, I keep calling this a lipstick, um, I kind of fill it in. So what you want to do is just take that lip, lip liner and just kind of blend it in. Okay, once that's done, you're going to go ahead and apply your Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, this color is called Crush. It's my new favorite lipstick. I love this color. It's such a beautiful, pretty, it's like the perfect nude for anyone with olive skin tone or you know, just a medium skin tone. It's a beautiful color. Okay. And there you have it.